It doesn't look really good. Uh, if I don't think if he doesn't come within the next two or three weeks, I mean, we could be stuck a whole other year waiting for this guy to arrive. Uh, in the meantime, we're looking at things just being drawn out this year, inching towards uh, more and more chaos with famine, uh, high fuel prices, complete chaos in the in the cities. I'm also to the point of anarchy, uh, and so it could get that bad. We could end up going into martial law uh, by September of this year simply through uh, civil unrest over uh, high fuel gla- high fuel prices, leading into stores not being stocked, uh, leading to riots in the streets. Still have a possible attack for July of 2008 or 2009 of Washington being destroyed. Um, that could come this year or next year. And so you just end up sitting here waiting for when when our event's going to happen. You know what events are going to happen. You just don't know when. And so uh, it becomes a waiting game. Uh, I know. I know when you say waiting, everybody's just fed up with it. Uh, well, you want to go home already. You just want to get on with the show. Uh, I feel the same way. And so that's the things to look for right now is uh, the clampdown of free speech and then the end of the Internet as we know it. But I think the Internet's going to be around a while. Uh, I think the first thing you'll see is to clamp down a free speech because there's an uproar on the Internet <laughs> about the clamp down a free speech. And so the Internet has to be around uh, for there to be an uproar about it. Uh, and it's these ascended masters that are basically the ones trying to get the Internet shut down. And so these ones now claiming that they're, they're gods and messiahs and <laughs> using the Internet full well now at their little New Age websites. Uh, they do one thing. They say one thing and do another. Uh, they're just just like the Freemasons today that run the world. Uh, the Bushes, Gores, all of them. Every satanic, secret society, they all interlink together. Uh, the Jews, the Vatican, <laughs> the Masons, everybody, folks, they all link together. It's, it's just like an endless circle, an endless loop. Uh, of how they all leak together. Uh, and so, uh, and people ask me all the time, what do I think of so and so, and what do I think of so and so, and, and, you know what, each person, uh, that you would consider a big mouth on the internet that is, that's exposing or uh, revealing agendas, and they always have one to hide, and they always promote the other ones, they all have good info to give. Uh, even the ones that protect the Vatican have good info to give about the New World Order. Uh, the ones who are protecting the New World Order agenda have good info to give uh, about the alien and Vatican agendas. I mean, they may all be agents, but they all give good info. So, like I said, chew the grass, spit out the hay. Because uh, even the best Jesuit Vatican uh, agents out there, uh, they'll talk about the Vatican and, and, and how evil the Pope is and how evil Catholicism is. And that doesn't take a real long stretch of imagination uh, to see the truth in that. At the same time, they hide the alien agenda. Uh, and, the, and the Vatican is steeped in the coming alien agenda. Steeped in it. Been involved with it forever because one of the, the Vatican is one of their home bases. You know, I, I don't hold allegiance to any organization, any group, any particular group, organization, or anybody. My only allegiance is to the Most High. And so uh, I'll talk about them all. I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'm not hiding anything. Everything I have to say is on a website somewhere, um, in an article somewhere, on an archive somewhere. I don't hide anything I say or believe. Uh, it's, it's all out there. And all I can do week after week after week is try to tie it in uh, to what I seek as it, as it affects the coming events, the coming days. I used to, th- this used to be more of a teaching show uh, where I would just teach things. And, and before I came out with my books, I would just teach those things and and it's kind of just turned basically to where I uh, just use it as to, to warn you of how they're tying into the coming events. Uh, read my website, omegansareliars.com, and, and see where Al Gore is linked with Hillary Clinton and Dick Cheney. You know, he's been running the DIA, him and Dick Cheney, uh, for the past eight years. <laughs> Gore's been in the background. He's one of the chief, chief uh, in, the, in the way background, he's one of the chief officers of the DIA. They, they run that whole, I've told you our government has their own UFO fleet. They have their own shadow government. And you'll always see various various section, uh, things about that on the Internet. Uh, but very few people talking about who's actually running it. 
uh, and what exactly they do. Uh, Lieutenant Gore has been running that for years, and uh, Dick Cheney also having an office in the DIA and running things there alongside uh, Al Gore. Al Gore outranks a lot of them. Um, I think he would, uh, even in Satan's little freak world where he's very high ranking, he would probably come up neck to neck with George Bush Sr. Uh, I know I've heard from a lot of people that Sr. is the highest ranking in the United States. Uh, but that's the New World Order agenda. Uh, Al Gore has always been more considered the alien agenda, and so I don't know who would outrank who at that point, uh, but who really cares? <laughs> They're both Satan freaks. They're both evil freaks. Uh, and we'll have our chance at eliminating them off the face of the earth when the Lord comes. Uh, the real one. Uh, the first thing he does when, he, when, the, when the Lord does arrive, his angels go through well, as, as a, in a harvest and, and uh, take the evil people off the earth. It doesn't talk about a rapture. It talks about eliminating the evil people off of the earth. Anyway, for right now, I'm just uh, going to answer a few questions. Not going to uh, speak too long. Um, question from a listener, more of a comment. Have you ever been? He gives a comment about uh, listening to a show in February and talking about his own experiences uh, with his bed shaking at night. And I've told you guys about that um, bed shaking at night, hearing voices yelling in the distance, hearing door slams, things like that. Uh, so giving his own experiences. He also asked if you've ever been on the Steve Quayle show. Uh, no, I've never been on the Steve Quayle show. Will there be a nuclear strike on Iran soon? It's on the table. It's on the table. Uh, not just man's, but the Lord's. There could be. Is America the beast of revelations? Uh, America is Babylon of revelations. Who might be the second beast? In uh, terrestrial terms, that would be this coming Jesus, this coming Sananda. Uh, if, it, if it's played out in human terms, uh, look for Benny Hinn. Because he's Satan's mouthpiece, his human mouthpiece on earth. Uh, and plays a huge religious role here. In Babylon, America. <laughs> and so watch out for Benny Hinn. Definitely uh, Satan's mouthpiece on earth. Uh, Sherry, I read the Bible, but I just don't understand what I'm reading. Is there somewhere we can go, or do you have a Bible study site we can go to learn? Thank you. Um, well, you can read my articles. Uh, SherryShriner.com. Uh, click on the articles section link. I have a bunch of articles. You go to SherryAudios.com and, and have a Nag Hammadi library and all that on audios. So you can listen to audios instead of trying to read. <laughs> hey, I'm a middle-aged male warrior. Jacob's trouble directed against me, Jacob's son. <laughs> Grand Randy. Good. I've got, we've got quite a few of them standing up now. I used to always complain. It's not Lord's Warriors Army it seemed like it was all, all women and kids. <laughs> a couple handful of men. Ah, uh, but they've been standing up. <laughs> Hello, Sherry. I recently bought a couple orders of war gown, and I was wondering if the government is aware of this and if I've been put on a list. Probably. I mean, I can't tell you one way or the other. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Who cares? Tell them to take one and take it home and, and put it on their, their dresser or something. <laughs> I've, I've mailed it to underground bases all over the place. And the guys of Air Force bases. I've, I've mailed it all over the world. I couldn't make my job any easier. <laughs> comment from a listener. Is ionic silver okay to take? Uh, you mean like colloidal silver? Uh, I'm kind of cautious about that stuff. Just use caution. That's all. Don't take it in abundance. You know, some people take this stuff, tablespoons of it daily, and, and too much of anything.